Professor Fran, but before we introduce him, I want to discuss what we're going to be talking about. This is the Secret Life of Nitric Oxide webinar. I want to introduce to you a good friend of mine that I met at uh, TTAC, The Truth About Cancer, which was an amazing event. The, the Bollingers know how to throw a party. Yeah, it was, was a good party. A, yeah, and you guys were one of the big sponsors, and, and I really appreciate that since I put on a huge event called Cal Jam. When guys like you step up to the plate to help us get the message out to the world, and again, your product is going to help with cancer too. We'll, pro we'll get into that, but this one's really about heart health because this is Heart Month. Uh, Stanford Graham, welcome to the show, bro. Yo, it's good uh, to be here, Billy. Yeah, I mean, and you're you're trying to break the uh, record for the one mile for the fifty plus. How old are you now? What year? I can ask you. What year are you born in? Sixty two. 62. So I got four years on you still. So, dude, you, uh, yeah, you're still. So, yeah, still that's, it. yeah. The difference, the chronology and biology are different, right? Chronologically, we're a certain age and who the hell cares? Right. Biologically, it's the experience of life. So, biologically, man, I'm just, I'm cooking at 30 something. Right. And I get people to understand this is what my whole focus has been with my practice is not only the chiropractic application, but everything that we can do to really supercharge the body to improve performance, to yeah. increase lifespan. And some of the things that I've got in my office, number one is hyperbaric. Well, let, me, let me describe to who you are first. Uh, you are a well-studied health enthusiast, entrepreneur, lawyer, currently training to break the record, as I said, and you live in Southern Utah, so Southeast, St. George. Southern Utah, actually Southwest in the St. St. George area, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but for me, it's all been about performance for me. I mean, I'm all about seeing what I can do, whether it's nasal breathing or Wim Hof breathing or what I juice. And I want to get I'm going to do a video for everybody after this using your product, Cardio Miracle. But to me, it seems to me, well, it doesn't seem to me. I think oxygen is so important and that's carried by the blood and anything that we can do to increase circulation is going to improve health it's going to improve performance and it's going to improve lifespan because I think as over time, there's other factors, of course, but the less oxygenated our body becomes, the faster it's going to, uh, the mitochondria can't make energy. And then the, the faster you're going to go see your maker. Uh, right, Billy, it does come down to, you know, we uh, even non-educated humans say, you understand that the, the blood is life. It is. It is. You know, it is. Life is in so the is blood. Nerve flow. Nerve flow is important too. They're both interchangeable. In fact, yeah. the, the first the osteopaths used to think it was uh, misalignments were causing restrictions in blood flow, but we later found out it was it, it was restriction in nerve flow. So, how would you describe to our audience what nitric oxide is and why they should get that in there? And just elaborate yeah. a little bit on that, if you would. Since you're so, nitric oxide, oxide before 1992 was regarded as a noxious gas. Like you can find it at the end of your tailpipe, right? It's a gas, nitrogen and oxygen uh, combination. But in 1992, there was a, well, for the years leading up to 1992, there was a, a scientific discovery that this, what was regarded as a noxious gas, actually, you know, an, an ugly duckling type of girl actually was a Cinderella. Uh, but this was a, this was a, a latent beauty. And that uh, in 1992, it was awarded the Molecule of the Year. It was recognized as Molecule of the Year in Science Magazine, which was, which was kind of a thing. And uh, they identified it as the primary communicating molecule in the body. It's the fastest. So you'll, you'll trick on some of these stats, Billy. The, it's the fastest moving molecule in the body. Wow. Why is that? Uh, it's, it's a... It's a simple composition in terms of its chemistry, but uh, like water is a simple composition, but it is, uh, it has deep meaning and some really interesting characteristics like water, right? Water is just a fascinating thing, but very chemically simply, uh, very simple. Right. Right. Nitric oxide, same kind of thing, chemically very simple structure, but fascinating so it's characteristics. oxygen for that matter, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's the fastest moving molecule in the body. It is a gas. It, it has the ability to permeate any other structure in the body any other cell so it can go anywhere fastest 
So in uh, so in ninety two, it's the it's recognized as this remarkable signaling molecule uh, that it's a communicator. Like in you know in uh, in ninety two, I guess you'd say that perhaps they figured out that maybe this could be good for you know an early AT and T company like Telegraph. We could send Morse code through. Maybe this is a the Morse code uh, a gas molecule in the body that signals every all these other functions to all these different cells in the body. Well, that led in 1998, uh, through six years of explosive uh, research, the, the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine was awarded to these three guys who discovered what nitric oxide, this molecule of nitric oxide actually does. They, uh, they were studying the endothelium, which is the interior lining of uh, the entire vasculature and lymphatic system. It, the hepatic system as well. So they're studying the interior lining of specifically arteries because they're trying to figure out why is it that in healthy bodies that a part of a healthy body, the, the blood vessels and arteries flex. And in unhealthy bodies or in, in bodies in a diseased state, they're inflexible. Why do they harden? Uh, and, and so what they figure out is through a series of, uh, of experiments is that if when they strip out the endothelium from an artery, it doesn't flex anymore, regardless of the health of the human that that artery is in. When they replace the endothelium, it starts to flex again. They then figured out subsequently a couple of other experiments that the endothelium is producing this gas molecule called nitric oxide. Wow. And so they conclude through additional work that, hey, the endothelium, these endothelial cells have a molecule in them called a, uh, the endothelial synthase molecule, and it produces, it's inside those cells, and it produces the nitric oxide. So this fastest moving molecule in the body, this profound communication molecule in the body is produced by this one cell thick lining of the cardiovascular system. So they get the uh, Nobel Prize for this, for figuring this out. Okay. And uh, Dr. Cook, who at the meantime, Billy, is the president of the American Heart Association, says, okay, now we have solved, and this is in 1998, now we've solved cardiovascular disease. Now we've solved atherosclerosis because now we know how to prevent this hardening of the arteries. As a consequence, the other things that happen, Billy, is you get optimal blood viscosity, uh, blood so pressure. So the people out there don't describe what blood pressure. viscosity is. Okay, so viscosity of blood has to do, well, like oil in right. your car, right? Can so uh, yeah, you got to change it. the oil out in the engine because if it gets like when it, when it gets dirty, used up, uh, what? Would I pop off here? Oh, okay. No, you're there. Okay. So when it gets when it gets dirty, you got to replace it. Right. Because it starts it it starts traveling like sludge instead of maple syrup. Right. You know that consistency, and so the same thing with the blood is that when our blood has a health has a health um, uh, dynamic. And so it, it can go from very healthy to very unhealthy. And uh, the health of our blood vessels matter. I mean, we can have interior uh, vascularity that's very slick, like a Teflon pan that you just bought at Williams Sonoma. Or it can be like that Teflon surface that, you know, gets banged up on a cheap Teflon pan from Dollar Store after a while. You know? <laughs> that's a good description. Well, yeah, so where the Teflon begins to catch every damn thing that you cook in there. Right. That's the, the endothelial cells have the, the ability to be banged up and abrased. So when we age, that, that, again, this is what happened. Our, those endothelial, the endothelial cells, uh, they uh, experience wear and tear. Right. And so the blood experiences the same kind of thing when our blood viscosity slows down. When it when it becomes thick and travels slower, that creates all kinds of. There's a uh, very interesting 
environment, Billy, that exists between our our liquid organ, blood, and the vet and the arterial walls right. of our vascular system. Right, there's this really interesting ecosystem between that liquid uh, organ and the blood and the arterial walls. These these endothelial cells are the communication. Um, there's the communication matrix for the blood. Like these are the mo these, these cells, their job is to interpret the data that the blood is carrying and to allow the data in. What do you mean by data though? I mean, it's basically, yeah. it's carrying oxygen, right? Yes, right. I what speak yeah, more, more metaphorically. So it's carrying oxygen, it's carrying nutrition, it's carrying hydration. Okay. Right? It's carrying all, all this information the blood's the uh, supply chain. It's carrying all this information in the comm system of the body. So it's carrying all this data and information because we eat and all that information, all we drink, all this information gets communicated through our blood. So how does it get through from the blood through the, uh, through the arterial walls into the interstitial tissue? And the answer to that is it gets through the endothelial cells. So to have a healthy interior lining of your blood vessels, absolutely critical for bioavailability of nutrition, bioavailability of hydration, uh, oxygen, because uh, you have that carbon dioxide oxygen exchange, you know, the, that gas uh, ox uh, blood barrier, all of which uh, nitric oxide that's produced by the endothelial cells regulates all that stuff. So nitric oxide, coming back to the original question, what the heck is nitric oxide? It's this gas, so this gas molecule produced by the interior of your blood vessels, these endothelial cells that facilitates healthy blood, healthy blood vessels that stay flexible, keeps your heart healthy, yep. uh, maintains the uh, blood flow, blood pressure. Um, you know, all chronic inflammatory diseases have three common denominators, right? <laughs> like hypoxia, right? Low oxygen supply, right? Right. Low blood, low uh, blood supply. Right. Not getting enough blood to the tissue, and um, and low uh, blood pressure. I mean, like really low. So, solving for those three things can address much of the uh, suffering that you know that our brothers and sisters incur as a consequence of chronic uh, inflammatory diseases. And nitric oxide. Again, it comes back to just very fundamental things. It's health of blood, healthy blood, and, and then the healthy uh, uh, arterial walls, the cardiovascular system. So. Okay. So let's go a little less deep for the people that are listening. Uh, your product, Cardio Miracle, is a product. How does it stimulate the nitric oxide in the body to be produced on, in a very simple way? Describe yep. that. Because I'm under, I'm understanding some of what you're saying here, but I'm still kind of clueless as how that happens. Okay. Uh, but you're saying the nitric oxide that's produced in the body is going to keep this endothelial cells healthy, allowing right. that blood to flow through easier, uh, and then communicating the data, which I, I look as nutrition, water, right. oxygen that flows into all the cells, and then we also have to look at the the respiratory system, which is the venous system. Yeah. And how that works the same way we're getting the carbon dioxide out. Is there anything else? Right. Probably, there's probably you're also breathing out obvious uh, toxins at the same time, correct? Yeah, brilliant and observation. Then, and then you, yeah. mentioned, you mentioned the lymph system. So if we want to have a more competent immune system, we got to make sure the lymph system's flowing properly. So yep. all this is being done through a higher prevalence of this nitric oxide, which the body is produ produces itself, correct? Right. And how does your product, Cardio Miracle, stimulate that? And, and can you explain that in simple terms? For yeah. People? That asks, Joe, would you put, Joe, would you put up that endothelial cell illustration? To get the, the, the folks a, a visual. Okay. So here you see microcapillaries, right? So the endothelium, microcapillaries of the body are made of that single type of uh, cell, Billy, the endothelial cells. Okay. Okay. So question, what is it that's in the, what do 
the endothelial cells need? What kind of fuel do they okay, need? Good, good question. To produce the nitric oxide that's necessary to keep them healthy right. and to do all these magic things in the body. So the fuel that the endothelial cells need uh, primarily are amino acids, two amino acids specifically, L-arginine. L-arginine? Yeah, is the primary fuel. Okay. And secondarily, L-citrulline, because it will, it will process L-citrulline, which will then become uh, L-arginine. Okay. So these two primary uh, amino acids are the fuel that the endothelial cells recognize to induce it to produce nitric oxide. Okay. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay. Those amino acids. So, so why don't we describe to people things that they might understand? And again, let's this might kind of obviously yeah. Viagra stimulates nitric oxide right. in the body. Yeah. Okay. So that's increasing blood flow. Right. Uh, Everybody's heard of like super beats, right? Like, oh, eat super beats. Beat. Right, right, right. And you get this magic kind of blood touch, something happens. That's because beets are a nitrite vegetable. So we have foods that are nitrates uh, that when we this is a pathway to produce nitri nitric oxide as you eat nitrates. So beets, kale, spinach, you know, collard greens, the deep leafy greens. Uh, and so the challenge is that eating enough nitrates to produce sufficient nitric oxide, very difficult. Okay. Amino acid sources animal proteins, beef. A lot of people don't eat beef. As a consequence, uh, so that's- well, Is it a fish at all though? Yes. Yeah, okay. You are yeah. just saying meat products, not just- Correct, I mean, meat right. products. Yeah, not, I'm not singling out uh, beef. So yeah, amino acids, you're gonna pick these up in, uh, in meat products. But the, the, the beautiful thing about Cardio Miracle so there are uh, 53 ingredients. We've got those amino acids and then fruits and vegetables on the order of 48 different fruits and vegetables, including those nitrate vegetables. And what we have found in uh, scientific studies that were conducted at Ohio University, this uh, Dr. Tadeusz Malinsky, this was the first lab Billy, to discover the or to measure the endothelial human endothelial cell production of nitric oxide in real time. Joe, we're looking at your desktop, I think. Yeah, Joe. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Dr. Malinsky at Ohio University, recognized globally for his knowledge in nitric oxide and vitamin D research. His lab is the first lab to measure in real time the human endothelial cell production of nitric oxide. He tests Cardio Miracle specifically, and his findings included that when endothelial cells, when human endothelial cells are bathed in Cardio Miracle, they immediately, it immediately stimulates long term production of nitric oxide, meaning that uh, an expression of production of nitric oxide for over 24 hours. Okay. Billy, this for him was like at least six times longer than anything he had ever measured from any other source. So for him, this was a like an uppercut in, in research speaks. This was a scientific discovery that, that blew his mind that how nitric oxide production over a 24 hour period in human endothelial cells had never been seen before. Right. So phenomenal outcome. Uh, the other thing that he uh, that he noted was that there was a, uh, he, he talks in his, in his research article, and we can make this available to your listeners, is that there's some irony in biology, and you'd understand this. Uh, I hope. Well, that, that what be, <laughs> like, finally. <laughs> but uh, 
what can be beautiful in the body, like oxygen, this, uh, that is necessary for life, can be dangerous to the body, like too much oxygen or too much nitrogen. Enough is great and necessary for life, too much, very harmful. So as it happens, when the body produces nitric oxide, it also produces the most dangerous free radical in the body, which is called peroxynitrite. Like they're created through the same process. Okay, run that by me again. So when, when the body makes nitric oxide. Okay, the body makes nitric oxide. It's a good molecule. Right. It creates a negative molecule. It, it creates a bad boy. Okay. It makes a good boy, the nitric oxide, and then it makes a bad boy called peroxynitrite. Okay, so why would we want that to happen? Right. Like, well, okay. because that's biologically what happens. Like, okay. Got it. So it produces this this great, this wonderful component and a negative component. Like I say, it's very ironic because it produces something, a molecule that's nitric oxide that's essential for life, like oxygen, and at the same time produces the most dangerous free radical in the body, which can damage, which can fra fragment DNA in the cells. So I mentioned that because what Dr. Malinsky found was when, with Cardio Miracle, the production of nitric oxide, they have healthy, the necessary, the good molecule went way up. The production of that nitric, the, perox the bad boy molecule, peroxynitrate, fell op by over half. And so he sees this ratio. He says it's a beautiful, there's beautiful symmetry that this product creates because there's a production of nitric oxide. And he would think to see uh, consistent levels of high levels of peroxynitrate, but instead the production of the bad molecule was reduced by 50%. And again, he'd never seen anything like that. And what what is it physiologically that's going on that this product causes that to happen? Well, because we have know? about we have forty eight anti inflammatory and antioxidant okay. ingredients. Okay. So you'd you'd re, you'd read through that list and recognize all that stuff because we've you know the turmeric and the white pine tree bark and the astaxanthin. You see all the fruits and vegetables, but these it's a it's a a broad composition of anti-inflammatories and antioxidants. And so Malinsky says, look, here's what's happening is when the body produces the nitric oxide, which is really good, it's scavenging all these additional, this broad array of anti-inflammatories and antioxidants are scavenging the, the, that reactive oxygen molecule, the peroxynitrite, and, and drives this production down. Which is again something that they had never they hadn't seen in that in that uh, in that realm of science. They'd never seen this this beautiful ratio between those those two molecules. So, because I mean they were making back in the '90s, Billy, when I was hitting the gym at four in the morning. I mean they there was a, there was an arginine product out, like in the in the mid '90s, yeah, right, yeah. and it was a pre workout formula. So they were packing this pre-workout for me with arginine and citrulline, and you'd get a pump like crazy, but there was no buffering. There was no buffering ingredients. They didn't even know about the peroxynitrate production. And so people are jamming all this. I'm, I'm pounding this stuff, getting a great pump and a great workout. And at the same time, my, I'm giving my body the, the ability to produce this uh this very dangerous free radical okay so now we've solved for that i mean cardio miracle solves for that that's uh, in a very unique way and we've we've uh we've established that through uh those those uh in vitro lab tests in fact this month we're doing we, we've begun clinical human trials okay so we'll have some fun stuff to talk about in i'm still confused as how it decreases it though i mean well, so the, the molecule is still produced. It's still produced. But the, but the, but the, the products oxygen, you have in there are scavenging up the free radical. Okay. Correct. Got it. All right, cool. Got correct. It. Okay. Got to get enough sleep yep. last night, so I'm a little slow today. So no. literally, I, I've used this with a lot of patients, and I'm, I'm going to say that I've had pretty dramatic results with most of them uh, because I think most – number one, most people eat like crap, okay, which is – you know, it's basically clogging up your arterial system and vascular system, which is really carrying the life 
force and the yeah. oxygen to the entire body. And you uh, would have discovered that that's a very difficult behavior for people to change. Yeah, it is. It's impossible almost. I mean, it, it, I, I used to get really frustrated. Then I just realized, you know what? You're not going to change the way people eat. It's just yeah. – it's so ingrained in society. Uh, but, I mean, I try to be a representative for, you know, yeah. what, what you should eat. And I mean, I, I'm pretty much very strict with my diet. And I've seen – I've worked with a lot of people with high blood pressure for, with this product. Obviously, if you open up the vascular system more, you're going to have uh, less pressure. Uh, I've worked with it with people with, uh, you know, male sex it, it, problems with the erection uh, and with great results. I've used it with people with circulatory problems into their feet and extremities. Uh, I think it can also help people with cognitive issues because of the fact that if you're increasing blood flow to the brain, so people that are having brain fog, uh, yeah, you gotta, this, is all, this is all layered with chiropractic and exercise yeah. and, uh, you know, it's not just w one thing, right. but what other things do you feel that this pro I, for me, I use it for performance. So my, yep. I'm surfing. I can feel like I can surf more longer. Uh, and I've got to keep up with kids that are, you know, I'm 63. I got to keep up with kids that are what? 16 years old. Yeah. So you're 63, I, but I, I, and diet is so important. And, and I know how I use it. And I'll get into that in a minute if you'd like me to, because I want to do a video and show you people how to use the product. But I mean, can people you don't recommend people just take this product and continue eating the crap that they eat or do you feel oh, no man i mean no absolutely not because i like you i mean i've made a uh i had a really uh one of those uppercut conversations about a year and a half ago with the dna specialist I don't know if you know the dna company out of canada mansoor muhammad who is the chief medical officer of that company that helped develop their and he reads dna like us uh, like a professional English actor would read Shakespeare, you know, it's just poetry to him. And so I get my, my full DNA panel from him and he tells me, I've, I've got a lot of good stuff going on. He's explaining, gosh, here's why you, you can perform as an athlete because genetically you're lucky, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but he said, let me talk, let me talk to you about your endothelial system. And this is before I even knew what it was, Billy. Wow. Before I was working with John. A month before I made a decision to work with John uh, Hewlett, who's the formulator of Cardio Miracle, so who I've known for 20 years. So Mo Monster Mohammed says, Stan, I got to tell you about your endothelial system. I said, what's that? He says, well, it's the inner lining of your blood vessels. Here's the thing. It's supposed to be slick. Keep your blood vessels really uh, uh, pliable. pliable, flexible, keep uh, stuff from aggregating on the walls like platelets and lipids and garbage just keep it slick like like a water tube instead of a running stream down a mountain you know keep it luminar instead of tubular um he says here's what? the problem he said, here's the you said tubular what was it yeah luminar okay i got you okay. yeah so like keep your blood moving like through a water tube instead of like a mountain stream through rocks and bumping around all kinds of stuff you know so he says, here's the thing, Stan, your endothelium, the genes from which it was made, because there's a lot of different uh, compositions that can be made from, he said you could have a, a, this is what he actually said, you could have a Williams Sonoma variety, really super high quality, or you can have a bargain dollar store variety endothelium right, based on right. the genes. And he says, sorry, dude, you've got the bargain dollar store endothelium. Oh, man. I said, so what does that mean? He says, well, What's your arresting heart rate? I said, well, it's like 40, it's like 52. Because I, I train all the time. I, I, you know, I eat well and I train. I've been doing that for decades. And he said, well, of course it is because you're a freak. He said, but if we were in an alternate universe and we were talking to Stan, the lawyer that worked, you know, the 14-hour desk job, came home and ate fried foods and watched television, you'd be dead. Right, right. Uh, so he says, you uh, – um, keeping the, I mean, so the point is, even if we have an endothelium for me, it says, even if I have an endothelium that's compromised genetically, that predisposed to abrase and, and wear out easily, I can adopt behaviors to keep it healthy 
So imagine um, within a month, I'm at John's house and I read this Malinsky study, Dr. Malinsky's research on Cardio Miracle, and I'm reading that nitric oxide is produced by endothelial cells. And when they're producing healthy levels of nitric oxide, it, the, the endothelial cells, that's the endothelial cells way of staying healthy and, and healing themselves. So check this out. In September of last year, the, an Italian study came out published by The Lancet. And here's what they did. They've got 20 patients, severe COVID, hospitalized. They take half of those patients, give them a placebo. The other half, they give them L-arginine administered orally. Wow. Cut their hospital stay in half. The folks that take the L-arginine, hospital stay cut in half, and they leave the hospital. The others, not so fortunate. It's like ventilator time. So here's their conclusion. They concluded that L-arginine and a healthy endothelium repairs the dysfunction and damage caused by the spike protein. It reverses endothelial damage. So that's just a short-term administration of L-arginine and therapeutic doses. So what if you could administer, and I'm not making any health claims here or structure function claims. Right, 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 I'm not right, saying that. Right. I'm quoting an Italian study that was published in The Lancet in September of 2021 that a therapeutic dose of L-arginine reverses the damage produced on the endothelial cells by the spike protein because the endothelial cells start producing nitric oxide. And they heal themselves like everything else in the body. You know this because you preach it. The body heals the body. Right. That's all there is. The body heals the body. If you get it the right fuel, you can help it do its job. So what's fascinating, that was a short, that was a short-term administration of L-arginine. Long-term administration of L-arginine and long-term production of nitric oxide, reducing that bad molecule. And increasing the production of nitric oxide, reducing the peroxynitrates. What Malinsky discovered over a year and a half ago was that it's the long-term exposure that the body gets to nitric oxide that provides all the biological benefits. So you're thinking, think about it, because I've, I've now read every research article there is, Billy, on the forensic autopsies on COVID deaths. Background of a lawyer, I said, I want to see the evidence. So I read right, every, right, right, right. Okay. right? Every, every report, every study done on autopsies, the forensic autopsies on COVID deaths, and what they found consistently, you know, it's scads, just tons of micro blood clots clogging the arteries, dead cells in the arteries a reduction of blood flow to all primary organs, you know, a, a coagulation of the blood gas barrier in the pulmonary tissue. The, uh, the capillaries become, in the microcapillaries becoming, getting punctured and they become, uh, I mean, it's like the body gets sepsis. It bloods, all the blood vessels start leaking. And now you have, imagine if, you know, what happens, every, everybody understands like a gut biome. When you have leaky right, gut, right, right, like right. when it's really bad, it gets, things get bad in the body. When the gut goes bad, the, the body goes bad, right? Right. On a vascular system, imagine the same kind of thing. Right. And so the, uh, so maintaining healthy blood vessels, particularly when they're under attack, because again, even in that Italian study, all the forensic studies, Tony, went from a theory of saying that the spike protein is attacking, is, is damaging the endothelial cells to a conclusion a year and a half later in that Italian study that said, we have now proven and demonstrated that this disease, that COVID is an endothelial disease. Love it. And I can send you that, I was like, happy to send you that article. I'm quoting the article. That COVID-19 is an endothelial disease. So we're talking what we're talking about today is over the target. 
So if you can maintain the health of your endothelium, it's, it, it, it's, it's a thing. It's going to improve your because, immune system too, right? Like we, we already mentioned that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so the, the product, Cardio Miracle, what is the source of the nutrients that are you, you supplying? Are they food-based or are they synthetic? Can, go with that if you could. That's going to be a question yeah. that people have. So the amino acids are food-based. Okay. Yeah. No, no synthetics. The ninety-two uh, percent of the fruits and vegetables are, are organic. The botanicals uh, are organic as well. So, uh, yeah, very high quality. John Hewlett, the founder of the company, spares uh, no. It doesn't spare any money on making sure that we have the highest quality ingredients because you know it's like the chain is only as strong as the weakest link. Right. And so, as as a uh, from a composition perspective, the quality of ingredients is exceptionally high, and that's why you'll have patients that see things. And I'm not saying this cures. Right. I, I quote what the studies show and what they've done. We don't have human clinical trials on Cardio Miracle yet, but I can say if you to your to your people. If you try it, we have a money back guarantee. Try I it. I like be, that. Be your lab rat. Be your lab. Be your own lab rat, and try it, because it, it's a no risk situation. Um, you'll ex and see how your body feels. Just see how your body feels. See how it talks back to you. Uh, you might feel the bottom of your feet that you haven't felt for a long time. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're, I've heard that one a few times already. Your, uh, you know, your brain fog. You, you might start having clear days. You know, uh, the arrhythmia that that might go away, but I'm not saying it will. I'm just saying we've seen all kinds of things happen: kidney function, liver function. I mean, it's it's amazing what happens when blood can get to where it needs to go. Yeah, it's amazing, but not really. I feel yeah, so Billy, I grew up on a farm, right? And and we used to, we did we had to irrigate, right? And so, if you didn't get water to the plants, they die. Okay. I grew up right. in Idaho; it didn't rain enough, you know. So you got to get water to the plants where they die. And the plants that are least likely to get water are always at the end of the row. So I learned up. I, I grew up learning. I I grew up hearing my dad always say, "Get the water to the end of the row." Same thing in the body. We got these cap, these micro capillaries that, as you know, some of them are just big enough for a single red blood cell to squeeze through. I mean, they're microscopic. These are the blood vessels that carry blood to the extremities in your liver, in your pancreas, in your kidneys, in your lungs, and all your muscle tissue. So if the endothelium isn't healthy and your blood isn't getting to the extremity, I mean, that's what happens with diabetics. They, right. You start cutting limbs off because... There's no blood supply. Right. When do you, so, when do you take it? Do you take it in the morning or do you take it? I mean, I, I'm going to go through my schedule, but what, when do you typically take it? Um, I take it three times a day. Okay. So you're so three I do, times I do a morning, day. Uh, I do morning and afternoon and then evening. And I, I split my, my, I split that my train, I split my training times between those, but morning, afternoon, and evening. I take more because I'm tapping my body quite a bit. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I didn't realize you should take it that much. Nobody's told me that before. Well, I mean, you know what? It's it's an individual thing. Look, I'm six five and two fifteen. Yeah. And you're it, we're different. Five nine one fifty. Yeah. And your metabolism, I bet you money, your your metabolism is health, different than mine. Yeah, probably. You know, our so we're all human, but we're all very different. Our our biomes are different. The way we metabolize food is different. Even the foods that are healthy, you and I are going to receive differently. So it's really test it out and see how it, what does your body need? Because, you know, I know you listen to your body really well. How do you use it? Right. So do you recommend people take it three times a day or do, do most people take no. it once a day? I mean, I do it once a day and I thought that was adequate. Yeah. So we recommend that people start with two doses a day for the first two weeks. Okay. Because it's going to be, it's going to be germanely. Uh, the case that people that take this for the first time haven't been producing any nitric oxide in any significant degree 
for many years. And that's just that's that's the situation because they have poor diets or less than optimal diets, lots of internal and external toxins. They haven't been they haven't been trying to address this issue. They think it's something else, but this is a fundamental issue. So we say for the first two weeks, take two shots a day, even up to between two and four doses a day. Two See what four? happens. Yeah, four yeah. scoops. Two scoops in the morning, two scoops in the afternoon, evening. And do you just put it in water, or how do you take it typically? Yeah. Well, so in the afternoon, I take it in water. In the morning, I put it in. Uh, I, I put it in a smoothie with some fermented greens, fermented reds, with some adaptogens. That's how I take it. Because the other thing I haven't mentioned is that we've just got science back, Tony. Some in silico testing from one of the best biotech companies in the in the country that have proven that. Um, that the nitric oxide that Carnegie Miracle produces stimulates the body's use of inert vitamin D stored in the fat cells. And that vitamin D levels just, vitamin D levels always increase substantially in, in very brief periods of time. We're talking like 30 to 60 days. Very significant upticks in vitamin D because it's not, it's not that the people are ingesting more vitamin D. The vitamin D in its inert state, as you know, is residing in fat cells. And there's something about the process of nitric oxide production in the, and uh, that stimulates vitamin D production out of the uh, it signals to the fat cells, release your innate or your inert vitamin D. It then uh, goes through its hydrolyzation process in the liver and the kidneys and then the this is vitamin D that's not waiting to get down to the colon to get processed, you know, that you're pumping tablets down and, you know, right. however, 10,000 milligrams a day. This is your stored vitamin D in your body that gets released. What do you think a healthy level of vitamin D is in the body? I and mean, what is yours? Just, I'm just curious. Because I've read a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Well, I'll start with this premise. So in 2011, oh, I can send you this study as well. 2011, there was a there was a uh, a study released that said there's a pandemic, a dearth of vitamin D in the human population. A dearth, dearth like like insufficient vitamin D in 70 percent of the global population. Yeah, mine was even low, and I'm in the sun all the time. So what what is yours? Just out of curiosity, or can you? You want to tell me or not? <laughs> I'll tell yours if you tell me yours. I'll tell you mine. I'll tell you mine. What you got? Okay, so when I first got tested, because I found out the significance of vitamin D as yeah. well, uh, I was at 25, which is really, really, really low. And, you know, when I'm surfing, I got a wetsuit on, so the only thing that's yeah. done is my head and my hands and, and sometimes my feet. Yeah. Uh, but the other big factor for me is I always wore sunglasses, which were contributing as well. I do a whole vitamin D workshop in the office, and I didn't really realize this product actually helps with that as well. Yeah, I will and send you the deck on that because this is just – Because I think vitamin D is one of the most important things for overall health that most people don't realize. And it's one of those simple tests you can get done to see where you're at from everything from insomnia to a weak immune system to your energy levels. Uh and it's not really a vitamin. It's actually a hormone that the body That's produces. Right. So yeah, I mean, you right. see it, such a prevalence in people of, that are of color, whether Hispanics or blacks, that move more latitudinally north or south where they're not getting as much sun. And then they have a lot of the symptoms of uh, obesity and diabetes. It contributes to all these other diseases as well. And again, I try to get people to understand with nutrition, you're not treating anything. You're just trying to provide the body with everything that it needs. And in society today, with a lack of nutrition in the foods, I like to super concentrate stuff like using products like yours, but I also do a lot of juicing and yeah. I juice low glycemic foods. I'm going to do a video on this later. Uh, and then I put stuff in the in the Vitamix and then I mix in like the Cardio Miracle. And then, you know, I put in all my super foods, whether yeah. it's maca, uh, spirulina, colorado, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, that's how I eat every day. And I mean, I think people look at eating as like some type of uh, entertainment for some people, whereas it should be really about fueling your body with the cleanest, most bioavailable foods, and at the same time, not contributing to stasis in the body or coagulation of 
of the system that you know you're feeding uh which is what most people do they eat I, most people eat crap that's disguised as food is what i say right. and i started using your product after truth about cancer and i've noticed some dramatic increases in my endurance surfing uh, and also strength uh, but I've also used it with a lot of patients, and I think that's where I see the best results because, I mean, I, for, for 63 years old, I'm not, you know, your typical 63-year-old. No, you're not. You're not. So there's a lot of things that I'm doing right that, yeah. you know, but I've seen people in my practice have dramatic results with the product. And one of my patients who is having improvements in his blood pressure, I don't know if I can say it. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's his experience, right? That's his right, personal right, right. experience. One of these things he said to me, he goes, you know what? This product works so amazing. But the thing that I really like about it is it tastes great. That's the thing. Sometimes when I'm juicing this stuff up, <laughs> some of the stuff I throw together, turmeric, you know, a little kale in here. And oh, it man. All, it, sometimes it doesn't taste always perfect. Yeah. But you yeah. throw that in there and it's such a – what is this, the flavors? It's like strawberry? Yeah, it's got like, like a – it has a nice berry, a subtle berry flavor to it. It's not overpowering. As you know, it's, it's subtle. And uh, enjoyable. So, in fact, Joe, I know you're there. Uh, I want Joe to tell a qu just a quick story, Billy, about okay. one of his friends. Joe, you there? Joe, you're muted, dude. Joe. Well. Doesn't look like Joe's coming in. No, so one of the – oh, well, here's the – okay, so here's the offer for your peeps. All right, so number one, it's got a money back – guarantee if you don't see any results yep the money will be sent back no uh, questions asked right use the product doesn't work for you you know um in fact i would encourage people get a blood panel done that's a great idea get a blood panel done for your vitamin d for your lipids your triglycerides get a get a panel done do this for 60 days Take your blood pressure before, yeah. right? That would be a yep. good one too. Yep, blood pressure before. Yep. Do this for 60 days. Take Cardi Miracle for 60 days, like for the first two weeks, double dose. And then the next six weeks, one or two scoops a day. You don't see dramatic improvements in your blood markers. We'll refund your money. And we'll even, we'll even reimburse you for whatever cost you paid for your blood test. Okay. Just send the receipts. So you that's why I offer that deal. Your, your people. That's why I offer your people. I'm not authorized, but I'm authorized. So I just say, because we're that confident, we know we've done it. We've done that. So honor to you, 60 plus year old surfer, man. I mean, dude, you look awesome. You've got so much energy. When I met you with Truth About Cancer, I thought, man, I've got a can what this guy's got coming out of him because you've got such great energy. Yeah, thanks. Such great energy. So, so can we mention a few other things that this product might possibly help without getting us in trouble other than the things that I've yeah. mentioned? Okay, so yeah, you let me put the, it this way. So if your people will choose your search engine of choice, right? You can yeah. brave, duck, duck, go, whatever. So get on, do a search, nitric oxide and blank, whatever biological problem whatever disease, whatever, um, uh, whatever, you know, a biological deficiency you think you're suffering from, whether it's diabetes or macular degeneration or neurocognitive issues or sleep issues, take that, the issue that you're struggling with, type that in and, and then type in and nitric oxide research and you'll, hit, you'll get feedback. This is one of the most studied molecules in history Billy, almost 200,000 research articles wow. on this molecule because we're, they're finding the research is, is continually on revealing what they, noted, what they identified in 1998, that this is the primary signaling molecule in the body. It's the communicator to induce synthases and processes in the body. And so, all kinds of things react positively, but it comes back to the fundamentals like we, we said at the very beginning of when you mentioned nerve uh, health, right? Right. I mean, as you know, the nerves have blood, 
they have their own blood supply on top of them. The blood that the blood, the artery, the blood, the vascular system that supplies has a, a type of blood vessels that supplies muscle tissue uh, and other soft tissues, but there's a very specific type of capillary, microcapillary that provides the blood to the nervous system. And you're right. If the nervous system depends on a blood supply that, that runs around, that is built right on top of it. And so, again, maintaining that the life is, blood is life. And if you can make that flow and it's rich in nutrients and beautiful hydration, bioavailable, super good stuff, your body's going to tell you it's going to function better. Yep. Yeah, just keeping things really simple. It's going, you put new oil in the car, things going to run better. All so, right. Sounds yeah. like a pretty darn good deal to me. Anything so people you, go out and get the blood test done. Get some Cardi Miracle on this. Joe, put so up you the recommend again. everybody do the blood test first? Or I mean, I don't think a lot of people want to go to that extreme. No, I, no, I don't think they do, but I'm just saying, we'll put our money where our mouth is. Cause yeah, yeah. It, we will. Because we so want you, say, you to try get it. Get a blood test done, use the product for two months, re blood test. If there's not improvements, you'll return their money. Yeah. Okay. That, say somebody doesn't necessary. want to get the blood test, they just want to use the product. They've used the product, they don't see any subjective improvement, then they send yes. the product back. They get their money right. back. Okay. Yep. I mean, they could measure their blood pressure, obviously, or yeah. they could sense a, a better cognitive function. They could yep. see better production. Or they wake up in the morning and they don't feel groggy. Right. Or like you say, there's in the afternoon and, hey, I don't feel tired. I don't feel like I have to take a nap. Right. Or is it even male enhancement formula. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Those are things that, you know, obviously I've worked with people. I mean, there's obviously nerve flow issues many times, but also it's it's blood flow. It's most problems in the body are restricted nerve flow and restricted blood flow. And these this product with chiropractic will work amazing miracles rather than going through the typical Western system, which is rather than getting rid of the problem, which is the coagulation of the lack of, of flow in the body and the vitalistic energy in the body, we just treat the, it's like the house is on fire and we're always treating the fire alarm and we never put the fire out. We just put the, <laughs> take the batteries out of the fire alarm. This is actually putting the fire out by increasing the oxygen to the body, increasing the flow through the body, and also, like you said, it's also going to enhance nerve function because it's intoxicating the nervous system. And that's what we do. It's not like we treat or cure anything. What we're doing is we're right. removing the obstructions. It's either, disease is caused by two things. One, deficiency, right? Deficiency in oxygen. And two is toxicity. And this is going to help get rid of those, get rid of the free radicals, increase immune function by also increasing lymphatic drainage and all that. So, I mean, it's a, it's a no brainer to me and that's why I've implemented it in my life. And I've no, like I said, I've noticed dramatic changes. Uh, I just didn't realize I could take it that much. Yeah. Obviously just Billy test it. Okay. I, I know that you've been your best, you've been your own best lab rat. Otherwise oh, that's you what I am. I am. Yeah, the best otherwise, lab rat. yeah. Otherwise you wouldn't look and do what you. Okay. You so let me ask you this you then do. for my, uh, my, my own personal problem. The only problem I have in my life is my brain never shuts up. Okay. Uh, I can't quiet the brain because I know all this is going on in the world that I've known about it for 30 plus years. And I've seen it all just incremental, incrementally laid out over time. How is this product going to help me quiet the brain or problems mm -hmm. with insomnia like I had last night, which is okay. Like I'm good with everything else. Grounding. I'm good with uh, meditation, breath work. I'm good with getting adjusted. I'm good with my okay. diet's impeccable. But yeah. I've always had the chatter going on. All right. So let me let me address that first by giving a biological explanation so you can visualize what's going on. Because you can you can think through your biological system. If you know what's going on, you can talk to it. So the adrenals are producing um, cortisol. Right. 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 As a response, why? Well, because the macrophages are active. The immune system has been kicked on, macrophage uh, cells uh, are, are kicked on, and they're either addressing an acute or a chronic inflammatory condition. 
at a certain point in time when there's an o when there begins to be an overproduction of those immune cells the adrenal cells kick on cortisol to say shut it down we're good the problem with low with uh for example um stress there's a good psychological study out just two years ago well three years ago that said that the most impactful stress to humans or the conditions that create the most stress in humans is interpersonal relationships yep. and under or underemployment or unemployment. So what are we going through the last two years? Yeah, lots of that. Like crazy. Yeah. Disruptions of interpersonal relationships like no, like no time in history. Right. And forced underemployment or unemployment. Right. Just brutal. Right. So here's what happens. So those those are stressors. Those are psychological stressors. Not not uh, we're not eating or we're not doing anything to ingest stress. It's happening here. Right. Right. So the body experiences an inflama a low grade inflammatory condition. Cortisol gets kicked on and says, uh, "Hey, the adrenals kick on cortisol and say stop producing." These cytokines stop producing the immune cells because uh, we're overproducing. What happens is when there's an overproduction of macrophages of in, immune cell, immune, when the immune system overproduces, is hyperactive as a result of stress, it loses its ability to, his, to listen or hear cortisol. Because cortisol is saying, turn off the production of the immune system, shut the immune system down. So we continue, so as a consequence, the immune system isn't shutting down because it's not listening to cortisol and cortisol is going, continues to be produced because it, let's just get a bigger bullhorn. Yeah. And so what does cortisol do? Overproduction of cortisol, try sleeping with that. Right, that's probably a problem. Right, try sleeping with an overproduction of cortisol. It's like trying to sleep knowing that a lion's chasing you. Right, right. <laughs> It'd bite or flight. Yeah, because your adrenals will switch on. They're producing cortisol and right. adrenals. I mean, right. they're adrenaline. Right. So your body's saying shut down while it's being turned on. Right. Yeah. Under a I'm going to die or I got to kill. That binary place. So it's like run, fight, freeze. Those are, those are your options. Right. So mechanic for me, Billy, because I've experienced that as well, is being able to visualize. So here, the other thing that happens is cortisol, an overproduction of cortisol produces an enzyme called arginase. And arginase eats arginine. Arginine is the main food the endothelium needs to produce nitric oxide. Right. So when you're stressed, guess what happens to nitric oxide production? Plummets. It plummets. Right. Because there's no fuel. And you can be healthy, like you, healthy as a healthy cardiovascular system, but if you're stressed, the cortisol is eating the fuel that your body needs to produce nitric oxide. All right, I'm taking it four times a day from now on, bro. Bang it. I'll do my, and then I'll tell do me my own th test, and I'm going to get my yeah. money back if it doesn't work. How's that sound? Damn straight. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> All right, anything you want to say in closing? I know we got to wrap this thing up. Yeah, I'd say... Joe, put up that offer again because this is – Yeah, put the offer up again. We should yeah, put that look, at the like, beginning of the show too, in my yeah. opinion, so people know that it's available. Yeah. Because a lot of times people are going to watch just a few minutes of the show uh, and they're not going to get to the meat. Uh, okay. So here's the thing. Take, take a look. at We have a, a, a comparative value here at the buy – this number three. You know, buy three, get four. For uh, the 25% off, the 329 bucks, get four canisters. It's a buck 37 a serving. What can you buy for a buck thirty-seven? A cup That's of coffee, which will just do the exact opposite. <laughs> it does. Caffeine tanks your ability to produce nitric oxide. Caffeine is an antagonist. Right. So, a buck thirty-seven, high value. You can't buy a bottle of water in California for a buck thirty-seven. And it's usually in plastic. At, on and it's in on plastic for crap's sakes. You're drinking out of the glass mug. Keep so that, keep that up there. Keep the screen up there for everybody, because yeah. I want to look at it too. The offer. So, 
So Joe, let's put it in the chat, or let's say, where do they go to access Billy's offer? Because this is a Billy DeMoss offer, right? So they go to drdemoss.pages.entreport.net. So it's in the chat. You okay. see that, Billy? Yeah. That's the link, folks, for uh, to get the offer that we're making because we're on with, with Billy, Dr. DeMoss here. Yeah. Uh, I don't see the link, but that's because my screen probably isn't opened enough. But let me see if I can. Well, we can put it there. We'll we can yeah, put it you in guys the, will, you guys will do the email. I'm like so low tech. I, you know, I'm low to no tech. I still don't okay. have a cell phone. So we'll send that out. So we'll, this is a recording. So, yeah, we'll eat, we'll prepare the email for you. We'll, we'll bed this link in the email okay. so they can All just right. click right to All it. Right. All right. Well, we had a we'll good time this, today. We'll put this, we can put this video in the email too. Make it simple. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Gotcha. You guys will figure so, that out. I just yeah. talk a lot, you know, and I yeah. got a lot of people that like to listen to me and a lot of people that don't like to listen to me. I've seen a couple of your Cal Jams, dude. They're like rock concerts. They are like, they are rock concerts. They are rock concerts. They're not live rock concerts. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know where we're going to put that back together nothing. right now. It's just it's too volatile of a world for me to put something like that together than have the whole... I'm taking a break, you know, and I'm surfing more and I'm more in my practice, so... One of these days, we'll open it back up. We'll, you know, bring the revival back. But I'm enjoying a little bit of time off because I did it for 13 years. And it's, yeah. as the Bollingers will tell you, it's not just like putting something together overnight. Oh, uh, dude, yeah. I don't do event planning, and there's a reason, because it's event planning. Yeah. Yeah. It's logistics and pretty crazy. But, no, I've, I've seen those. So props to you, Billy. Those, those are epic events. Thank you. Really yeah. awesome. And Great I think work. Like, Ty spoke on my stage. I think that's where he got the idea to do truth about cancer. I'm just saying that from my, my own observation, but. Uh, well, yeah. with age comes wisdom. Do I still, I'm, I didn't know you were 60 plus. You don't. I don't, you don't act it either. No, you don't I communicate should, sometimes that Sometimes maybe at I all. should start acting like a little You bit don't communicate that at all. So all if right, you brother. want to feel like Dr. DeMoss, do as Dr. DeMoss, right? Peace out, everyone. Thanks, Dan, from Cardio Miracle for being on the show. Sorry we missed yeah. John today. Couldn't make it. But uh, you guys got a great offer. You can't lose. Nothing to lose. Try it Nothing out. If you don't lose. see any change, get the blood test before and after. If that doesn't change, then you said you'd pay for that, too. Okay, I got it. Yeah, get your vitamin D level check. I think that's one of the most important blood markers, in my opinion. I went from 25 to 156. I had to cut back a little bit. What do you, what do you think is the optimal range? Because I, I've heard I'm everything. a 90, 93. Okay. So do you think above 100 is too much? I think it depends on the human. Yeah. I don't think that, Billy, I honestly don't think, I think there's some objective measurements, but it's really how do I feel? Right, right. You know, the body's going to tell you. So I'm not a doctor, not a doctor on television, not a doctor in real life. I'm a do Well, I'm a doctor of the law. Right. And that'll put you to sleep anytime. So I can prescribe uh, sleeping pills. I hand out my legal briefs, put you to there sleep. In a <laughs> that's, that's what I'll do. All right. Peace out, everyone. Love from Billy D. Good to be with you, Billy. Cheers, man. Stanford, good to see you again. You look as great as ever. You better break that record, brother. I'm after it, man. I'm going to kick its ass. Rock and see roll, ya. baby. Thank see you. Ya.